Hello guys, my name is Sirius Chemist and I'll be doing a let's play of Fallen Enchantress Legendary Heroes. Um, I should note that I will not be explaining every part of the game. I uh, will highlight some of its uh, features or explain things when I, when I feel that's appropriate. But uh, if you don't know this game, I uh, suggest you watch uh, gameplay videos or uh, uh, videos of let's players who will in fact explain every game mechanic. Uh, I can also recommend blind let's plays. They are a very good way of finding out how games work. Um, Alright, I'll uh, jump right into it. Um, these are the, uh, the standard factions you can choose from, but you can also choose your own. Um, your own. You can also create your own sovereign your own faction and, and play with that and that's precisely what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna create a new faction as well uh, and I want an empire and I'm going to play with the Urxen. I really like the Urxen um, because of their uh, double swarm bonus. You can, um, it, it really emphasizes the swarming in tactical combat which is about the only th really interesting aspect of the tactical combat in this game if you ask me um, it also increases the attack uh, the attack values of units when they are in an army of five or larger which is also pretty nice um, I'm gonna call my empire the empire of off which is uh, well what I like um, let me see. Uh, there are several weaknesses you can choose from, and I always like to pick the rebel one. Most let's players I've seen tend to design a race that is really, you know, uh, powerful. In, in uh, mostly with regard to unrest. I mean, uh, they like to create a race that does not suffer from from unrest much. But I like to play against AIs that. Um, are under challenging difficulty um, which at times is not that challenging so I make things a little bit more difficult for myself by uh, giving myself my giving my cities higher unrest and of course this also frees up uh, one point which we can spend in the strengths categories um, I like to get the assassin tools that um, allows me to create units later in the game that have a poison attack. Um, it's not that important, I mean poison doesn't... Well, it, it does decent damage, but usually it's, it's not crucial to winning a combat, but I do like having it. I also like the bronze uh, shields and one-handed spears that the defensive strength gives affection. Uh, additionally, it's a very nice one because uh, units defending cities get 10 plus 10 percent per city level to accuracy. Eh. I mean, a city is at least level 1, so you get 10 percent accuracy. Um, well, it does help, I suppose. It's like 5 additional accuracy and maybe 1 extra defense in the early stages of the game, early to mid stages. Um, I also like to give my units 10% initiative, which means we get a lot more, well, we should get a lot more turns in tactical combat, um, and that is, well, that's very useful. Um, and then we can pick a fourth one, and I'm gonna pick warriors. Um, the warriors technology uh, leads straight up to the uh, drills technology which gives an additional spot in armies which is something that I want to get as soon as I possibly can maybe a little bit later but quite soon um, I am just going to select a nice crest one that screams violence preferably because as you might have already realized we're playing a pretty 
violent or uh, aggressive ways. Backstory, uh, I like writing those and I don't like this text appearing in the main wi window, but yeah, it's not very really important to the game, so I'm just the masterwork chain. And well, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I don't really like, well, I, I like this, but I'm not gonna th really think about it for this Let's Play. Um, Alright, uh, then the Sovereign. He's going to be a warlord. Uh, we're gonna name him straight away before I forget the name I came up with. Uh, warlord Breck. Alright, he is a fire apprentice. He is uh, mighty, has a high discipline, and he is hardy. Um, he's also cruel, which gives an additional 5% unrest in cities. But it also gives me one extra attack, which is good because my sovereign is basically going to be my. <laughs> uh, is basically going to be the unit that deals all of the damage. Uh, come on, just change up his. Ah, right. Change up his clothes really quickly. It doesn't really matter the appearance. I mean, as soon as you get some equipment, it starts removing the, uh, the clothes you have selected in this menu. Uh, I like to the initiative, and this is a very nice item. Uh, three extra defense, which is of course nice for a unit that's going to do high damage. Uh, and enemies that track a unit carrying this item become cursed. Which is, uh, by the way, the exact reason why I picked the fire ability. Oh, right. Uh, I usually pick fire, but in this case, I think I'll actually take earth. Because of the enchanted hammers, which is pretty damn useful. Um, fire is nice to have, but uh, death is also nice to have, but I don't choose the death ability. I was about to say that. I don't choose the death ability because my sovereign will be able to cast a curse all on his own without even casting a spell. And, um, well, the other things death magic can do, I am not really that interested in. Alright, um, well, um, let's continue. Save our sovereign. And I generally don't like them looking up. Mm, that's that's not too bad. That one? Yeah, that one is nice. Uh, background that suits us. Well, this looks nice. I kind of am annoyed by the eyes, though, so. We just go back and uh, change his eyes to some kind of a color I can actually look at. That's much better. Always annoying to uh, look at someone and not be able to, to really see his eyes. Uh, Alright. So. Well, the, uh, this summarizes what, uh, what our faction can do. Um, yeah. Yeah, pretty nice. Uh, I play on a tiny map with a production pace that is fast. Uh, otherwise, this game tends to get pretty slow, and I'm I, I actually am not um, that opposed to to slow strategy games, but. I don't know, it just doesn't feel right for me in this particular game. So, uh, a tiny map. Then again, we are gonna play with the maximum amount of opponents. Which is 10. Um, yeah, they are challenging. All kinds of uh, victories are enabled. It, I've, I've really, I've done the spell of making, I've done conquest. I've Diplomatic, I've done once, but it's 
really tedious and uh, can re get really annoying. And I've done the master quest also once. Uh, if you can do the master quest, you basically, usually you could easily conquer all opponents if you can finish the master quest. That's how difficult the master quest usually gets. But it's, it's nice if you want to uh, change things. Uh, if you want a, a change of, uh, you know, playing style or uh, if you want something different than fighting uh, the regular opponents. Alright, let's uh, create a world. This is the basic begin screen. It's well, doesn't really add anything to the game, really. All right, let me take a look. I generally start by looking at essence. This would be a particularly good spot in terms of essence. However, this is not a really a magic oriented faction, <laughs> not at all. Um, so I think I'll get this location. Although that does give me very low food as well. Um, this is actually pretty, you know, tricky. They're good choices, but I mean, this one is, is pretty nice. Suppose that getting uh, the extra essence could make up for the loss, but then you use the essence, so there's really no point in that. And I don't even think I have uh, I have some kind of an, a spell that can enchant the city to give it extra food. Um, extra production would be nice, but at some point the city. Well, I can research the things that I need to... Uh... Yeah, well, this one. Five. Well, I can get five by using enchanted hammers. So... I'll just move over there. Ah, of course. Oh, I uh, actually messed that up a little bit. <laughs> I wanted to move over there, but I... Oh dear. <laughs> well, I suppose we're gonna waste a turn. That is annoying. Um, I want a workshop. Increase our production rate a little bit. Uh, low taxes, but we're only gonna settle next turn. Possibly after we have destroyed the bear cup. Oh no, wait, that will consume the entire turn. So, um,. Yeah, this would be my first turn. Alright. Move over there and settle. Empire is full. I'm not really happy with that name. Siri. Nah. Apex. And Hayo, Hayo is nice. Sometimes you just keep clicking and it uh, just keeps on producing those weird names. Right. Logging camp. I, if I can build a logging camp, I immediately do so because otherwise I might accidentally remove the forest, which also removes the ability for me to actually add a logging camp. So, um, yeah. Alright, 